Okay, today I'm not working on any of the mechanics of this. I'm going to be working on audio detection. So she should be able to pick up speech and do some processing with it. Now I'm not going to be doing that over here since I tend to do a lot of the uh, software development over at my computer rather than at this uh, work desk here. So it's a little bit boring over there. There's not a lot going on. I have these uh, half-size versions of her head. Some uh, skin here. Just wrap that over the skull. Anyway, that's one of them. Got another one of these over here. This one's actually got some motors in the back so the eyes can move around. I'm not going to use that, but this is a more complete one. Anyways, I'll take this with us over to the computer. Right, so not wildly exciting looking over here. Yes, I can do that. I've got uh, at least the head over here. Half size. Oh, I didn't understand. Can you repeat that? Same setup as before. Computer, microcontroller, head. Not going to be working with this right now. No problem. Got a speaker back there. I'm really sorry, but I didn't quite understand what you said. So I'm Could you repeat it for me, please? Quiet down. So I'm just testing the speaker out over here before I go installing it inside the head. So that's why I'm figuring things out over here first. I didn't catch that. Can you please repeat it, maybe with a bit more detail? Right, so I'm making use of a speech-to-text library called uh, Vosk. It works very well. Hello, Hannah? Hello. Let's have a fun time chatting. Can you set an alarm for 6.26 p.m.? Confirmed. Your alarm is now set for 6.26 p.m. Okay, great. So, what time is it? Why, it's half past six. All right, so we're going to get there in a minute or two. Pardon? So when I ask her the time, she's only going to give it to me in 15-minute increments. It just uh, simplifies things, and it's close enough for almost any time I would ever want to know the time. I don't really need it to be precise, but when setting an alarm, it's got to be precise. I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe it does need to be more precise. Attention, Dave. The alarm is sounding off. Let's get things rolling. All right, all right. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Could you please repeat that? What time is it? Why, it's half past six. All right, well, it's actually 6.26. Got the alarm correct there, but when I ask her the time, she's just telling me it's about 6.30. No problem. So what's happening here is whenever she detects me saying something and it's not a recognized command, she tells no. me that she can't understand it. I don't believe so. So that's what that is. I didn't understand you. Can you try again? Now, I might fiddle around with uh, how I want to do that, because right now she basically just tells me she doesn't understand, she doesn't understand, she doesn't understand whenever I say anything, and I've only got a limited set of commands right now. You got it. Can you set an alarm for 6.29 p.m.? All right, Dave, your alarm is all set for 6.29 p.m. All right, this is working out pretty well. I missed that. Could you say it again? All right, so not a recognized command. So what she can do right now, she can tell me the time. She can set Absolutely. alarms. Um, I can say hello. Hey, Hannah. Hello, Dave. Ready to rock and roll? Goodbye. Later, alligator. So, a pretty limited set of commands right now. Yes. 
hopefully I'll incorporate a few more things in the future. I'm not sure I understood you. Could you repeat that? So there's no language model or anything like that. There's no uh, text-to-speech going on. These are all just pre-recorded messages. Sorry, no. I'm doing nope. uh, speech-to-text with... Uh, oh, there's our alarm. Hey, Dave, time's up. It's time for your task. Don't miss it. All right. I'm going to turn you off now because you're getting in the way of the explanation. Sorry, no. Right, so I'm doing some uh, speech-to-text with a library I found. And then from that, I'm basically just queuing up a number of different uh, folders that have all sorts of random audio files in them for variety. For a lot of the more common commands that you might expect to use with something like, a, I don't know, a Google Home device or an Alexa device, now, the things that people use these things for are like, what time is it? Set an alarm, set a timer, remind me this, remind me that. Uh, that's like 90% of what people use these devices for. So I thought, uh, why don't I try to recreate that? And a lot of that you don't even need any kind of uh, artificial intelligence for, you just as long as you've got the speech to text to uh, figure out the command, then you can just uh, deal with all of these different, different situations. Hey, Hannah. Hello. What time is it? It's about a quarter past six. I wonder if you can understand what I'm saying. Excuse me, but I didn't understand. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, goodbye. Adios. So in the code here, bringing in these libraries, there's a whole lot of uh, setup for a number of different variables, different input conditions. Got a huge block of uh, uh, conversions for different uh, words into numbers. So for all the different times, this is for setting alarms, different commands and variations. Oh yeah, I set up a kind of a mood system. So the more that I interact with the, the robot, it increases her mood. And if uh, if you don't interact with the robot. Her mood gradually decreases in time. How are you feeling? I'm doing great. Hello? Okay, so she's somewhere in the middle right now. Absolutely. Hey, Hannah. Hi, Dave. Good to see you. What time is it? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm asking about the time. What time is it? Why, it's half past six. Can you set an alarm for 6.40 p.m.? Got it, Dave. Your alarm is set for 6.40 p.m. I'm just trying to interact with her a bit to demonstrate how the mood changes. Excuse me? Hello? Hey, Hannah. Hey, how have you been? Goodbye. Until next time. How are you feeling? I'm so excited. Well, she's feeling a lot better now. We've got some interaction going on. Not really. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So you can ask her how she's feeling, and uh, she'll tell you. Every interaction has a different kind of a weight to it that will sort of have more of a positive or negative influence on her mood. Uh, I can probably get more complex controls going on for that, but for now it's just sort of a, a random number added or subtracted within a certain range. A whole bunch of different uh, functions for dealing with the audio files, random files, specific files. 
And then just a bunch of if statements for how to deal with each of the commands. So sometime in the future when I get the LLM set up, hopefully I'll get some more uh, sophisticated psychological modeling going on and we can do some more interesting things.